dividing fractions. So, first of all, we're going to talk about uh, reciprocals. Have you heard of the term reciprocal? No. All right. If I have 2 over 3, the reciprocal is just take the fraction and flip it. All right? So 3 over 2. These are reciprocals. Okay? I, it's not nice to say opposite. Let's say reciprocals. Opposite save for like operations, right? The opposite of addition is subtraction. I will later. How's that? Okay. So you need to know what a reciprocal is because what happens if you multiply reciprocals? It gets messy. So what if I take... Well, what if I just take these two? 2 over 3 times 3 over 2. We did this yesterday. There's two ways to do this. When you multiply fractions, what do you do? You multiply straight across. That's one way, right? You can just go straight across. So you get 6 over 6, which is 1. Or... You could have just canceled right away, where the threes cancel, the twos cancel, and you're left with just one. That's a faster way. But the point is, when you multiply by a reciprocal, you get the number one every single time. Doesn't matter what the fraction is. If my fraction was x over two, and I multiply by the reciprocal, what's the reciprocal of x over two? Two over x. Two over x. Same thing. The twos will cancel. The x's will cancel. You get one every single time. Okay? This is important. And this is the whole basis of, why, of how we solve division of fractions. <clears throat> so the reciprocal is just a fraction that has been flipped. All right. Have you guys done multi or division of fractions? Do you do that in grade 8? Maybe. Do you guys remember anything from grade 8? <laughs> People are always like, I don't know. What? Okay, well, let's do a division question. All right, two fifths divided by three over four. All right. Now, I'm going to write it a different way so that you can see why you do what you do when you're dividing fractions. So you're used to seeing things like that. That is the same as this. Two-fifths divided by three over four. Does everybody agree that that's the same thing? It's just written differently. Yes? Yeah. I hope so. Okay. This looks ugly. Yes. Nobody wants to stack fractions on top of one another. All right, because it gets really big and it gets kind of yucky. But what I just told you is when you multiply reciprocals, what number do you always get? One. So somebody a long time ago decided, well, if I multiply the bottom here by its reciprocal, what's the reciprocal of 3 over 4? Four? 4 over 3. But what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top, right? make it consistent. So I have to multiply the top by 4 over 3. Okay. When you multiply reciprocals, what do you always get? Always, always, always. This bottom turns into 1. So it's over 1. And then the top, I'm, how do you multiply fractions here? You go straight across. 2 times 4 is? 5 times 3 is? 15. Anything divided by 1 is just whatever that anything was, right? So in this case, it's 8 over 15. Can you simplify that? No. <laughs> no, you cannot. Nothing goes into 8 and 15 as a whole number. 
Um, so this is why, okay, well, what's the shortcut? Can anybody see the shortcut so you don't have to actually write all this stuff out? Yeah, so what did you do? Like if I just gave you this, if I, I'll, I'll write another one. If I just said this. Uh, three over five divided by six over seven. Sorry? What? Define what that means. You keep the first fraction, flip the dividing sign to multiplication, and change the six over seven to six over seven. There you go. That's it. You basically take this second fraction, not the first one, it's always the second one, and you change it to its reciprocal, and its division becomes a multiplication. Yes. So you get 3 over 5 times 7 over 6. I have KSF, keep switch flip, but we can go with change. So in this case, it would be 3 times 7 is 21. What's 6 times 5? 30. Can you reduce that? We just multiplied 3 and 7 to get 21, so it can't be prime. <laughs> So what goes into both of those? Three. <laughs> so, so I get seven over 10. All right. So the acronym is KSF, keep. The first fraction, or I will say the top, the top fraction, because if you write it like this, it's the top one that doesn't change. S is switch the sign, or flip the change the sign. Switch the sign. I'll say operation. I don't like sign. from division to multiplication and flip the second fraction. Which means multiply by the reciprocal. your galaxy. galaxy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Negative 1 over 7 divided by 2 over 5. Which one stays the same? First one. What happens to the division sign? Change to a multiplication. And what happens to the second fraction? And then multiply straight across. What's negative 1 times 5? 7 times 2? Always, always, always put your fraction in lowest terms. Can I simplify that? No, you cannot. So you are done. All right. What about this? So two, you want me to change it? 
There, is that better? Two divided by three fifths. So the two is a whole number. So if it doesn't have a denominator or it's not written as a fraction, what number is in the denominator? One, right? You can pretend it's like a one, two over one. You can write anything as over divided by one. All right, so what does this become? Times five over three, which gives me 10 over three. That is a, what type of fraction? That's an improper fraction because the top, the numerator is larger than the denominator. How, what would it be as a mixed? Three goes into 10 three times, which is nine. There's one left over, three and a third. Either one is right, unless I specify that I want a mixed or an improper. I always prefer improper's. I do not like mixed numbers. All right. What if I did this? So I changed the order. I rewrote it as three fifths divided by two. So the two written as a fraction is what? Two over one. So we go over one. First fraction stays the same. Change to a multiplication. Flip the second fraction now. which is one half, and then multiply across three over 10. All right, you okay? Two more examples. What if you have mixed? Two and three quarters divided by one and two fifths. Do we like mixed? No. No, what do you convert them to? Improper. improper is the first step. If you have a mixed number, my default would be make them improper fractions. So the first one, four times two is plus three, 11. So I get 11 over four. Second one, five times one is five, plus the two. Too fast. So that's seven over five. It doesn't, there you go, seven over five. Now, which one do I flip? The second one, so it's 11 over 4 times 5 over 7. And then it's just multiplication. 11 times 5, 7 times 4. Can you simplify it? You cannot. We'll just leave it like that. So if you have an improper, or sorry, if, if you have a mixed fraction, convert to an improper. I want to do one more example, and then I'll give you some practice. Because I noticed that some people made this mistake. Negative five and a half divided by three and three quarters. Actually, let's make the second one negative two. Boom. So converting the top one, what does the top one become if you're going to convert to a uh, improper? You don't use the negative, right? You just go two times five is 10 and you add the one. So that's 11 over two and the negative just kind of floats in front of it. Same with the bottom, four times three is 12 plus three, 
15 over 4 with the negative hanging out in front of it. Okay. What do I do now? Doesn't it switch back? Which fraction flips? The bottom one, right? So the 15 over 4. So negative 11 over 2 times negative 4 over 15. Does the negative, does it matter if it's on the top or the bottom? No. I mean, I put it up at the top here. I guess to be consistent, I can put it there. What's 11 times 4? 44. What's 2 times 15? So I get negative 44 over negative 30. What happens to the negatives? Why? A negative divided by a negative is a positive. 44 over 30. Can I simplify that? What goes into both? Two. How many times does two go into 44? Twenty-two over fifteen. Okay. Flip the second fraction or the denominator or the bottom fraction, I should say. If you have mixed numbers, convert to uh, improper fractions and then flip the second fraction again. Then you just multiply straight across. So it's flip, switch, and multiply. Um.